Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Bongo, bongo. Yes, I got my Bulbasaur. My beautiful, shiny Bulbasaur. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Who'd you get? Shiny Mewtwo! <gasps> yes! I got it! On the same game! <gasps> oh my god, it is! That's a shiny Zapdos! So it's not, you don't- <gasps> Oh my god! <gasps> Professor Pineco here, and it's time for another Trainer Tips video. This is how to migrate your Pokemon from the third generation games to the fourth generation games. As you all know, uh, I uh, you know, started this quest to get a Bulbasaur, uh, the Bird Trio, and Mewtwo. So I am actually going to start this video kind of by showing you all the sparkles in this generation. So we're going to switch over to Blizzard, which we got after Clover. Actually, no, we got Mewtwo, but still. Now we have our shiny Articuno. Yeah, there we go. And then we have Terrawatt, our shiny Zapdos. So really cool. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. And then we have our beautiful James, the Mod of Moltres. So, the first step to migrate your Pokemon from um, from the third gen to the fourth gen game is you have to have either a DS or a DS Lite system. Uh, you need to. You also need to have completed. Uh, that. You also need a completed uh, fourth gen game. Now, it's very important to note that the third gen game does not need to be uh, finished. It's probably better that it is. You have um, your Pokemon can also like they they can't know any HM moves, um, and they can't have any items on them, or else the transfer won't work. So once you have decided on the Pokemon that you're gonna, you know, uh, transfer over, you know, go over to your PC system. <coughs> You um, just double check that they don't have the moves that you, uh, any HM moves. So we're just going to uh, verify that I've got no HM moves on any of these shinies that I want. And I have a random Geodude that I'm going to transfer as well. And as you can see, he's got nothing, nothing either. So there we go. Um, and we're going to store. Uh, it does not actually matter which box they are stored in for these particular Pokemon. And as you know, I can't take out the last one on my team, so maybe I'll have to find somebody else. But that is A-OK. -okay. So once you have all the Pokemon you'd like to transfer in your PC box, you're actually done with your GBA game. Okay, so you're going to save, and you're going to turn off your DS or DS Lite system. Now you have to have the, you have to have both games inserted into the DS at the same time. So you turn it off and restart it. So I'm going to show you. There is my uh, leaf green game, and there is my completed. I'm using Heart Gold, um, but there is it's it's either fourth it's any fourth gen game. So you can do this in you can do this in um, uh, Diamond Pearl and Platinum. And the Pal Park is located in the east route of one or uh, 221 at the east end of Route 221, and you can also do this in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, and it's located in Fuchsia City, uh, where the original Safari Zone was. Ah, there we go. So what's interesting about loading uh, the Pal Park, loading the Pokemon to the Pal Park, is you don't do it in the actual game. You do it here on the uh, like the the start menu, I guess you could say. Um, so if you go down past Connect to Pokewalker and Myst Mystery Gift, and you have the the game cartridge in here, it'll say Migrate from the GBA game. So in this case, it's Leaf Green. So this is really important to remember. So once I do this, I can never, ever uh, get them back again. Uh, so that is actually why I took the time um, to kind of look at them sparkle one more time because this is kind of this is kind of the end. This is the end uh, for these these Pokemon. So you just go ahead and tap who you are transferring. And as I said, you need six. You'll notice that there's no enter button. Um, when you hit the sixth Pokemon, that's when it automatically uh, lets you migrate them. So you say yes, and it's going to remind you again that they can never be returned back to the GBA game pack. And here we go. So now it's you'll notice it's saying saving on Pokemon Leaf Green and Pokemon Heart Gold. So yeah, this is this is what is happening. <laughs> 
Uh, it's kind of nerve-wracking for me because I, 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 it was like, oh, my third gen sparkles. But you know what? I can always get more third gen sparkles. Not that I don't have enough games to do it in. So now you go back, um, and I'm going to go ahead and go into my file here. I was in a Harry Potter mood when I first made this file. That's why his name is Sirius. Once you've started your fourth generation game, uh, and you have gone to the Pal Park, in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, the Pal Park is located on the east end of Route 221, and in HeartGold, SoulSilver, it is located in Fuchsia City, Fuchsia City, in the place where the old Safari Zone is, on the Kanto side. Um, you can go in, and before you before you go into the Pal Park, do make sure that you have a Pokemon with you with Surf, as there are two surfing areas in the Pal Park. You can always redo this. Um, you can press the retire button on the bottom screen uh, and you can redo these catches over and over again. Pretty much what will stop you from doing these catches is when you uh, actually tell them to put the Pokemon into your box after you've caught them all. You're given six Pokeballs with a 100% chance of catch rate of catching the migrated Pokemon. So this is, this is kind of because it's because it's technically a mini game, um, like that's the reason why you can redo it over and over again. But it it, it really doesn't it doesn't matter if you don't want to. Um, so I I have done this over and over again because um, those sparkles are really beautiful and I did want to see them. Um, this is actually a nice way of getting to see the fourth gen sparkles because I was really anxious to show you guys what it would look like. So here is our beautiful clover. Um, each Pokemon is going to be going to appear in their natural area in which you would hunt to find them. It is a little bit more difficult with legendaries to kind of figure out um, where you're going to get them. But the birds, for instance, uh, two of the three are actually in like cave type areas. So there is like a cave type patch. Um, this is kind of the basic grassy area, and this is actually where Mewtwo is. Um, so it, it's just because he's a legendary Pokemon, his encounter rate is going to be a little lower. So it's a little bit more of a chore to find him. Um, it's funny, I'm holding down the B button, but one of the beautiful things I love about this game is not having to hold down the B button. So there we go, here he is. So there's a couple things that I wanted to do in this file. Other than show you all the beautiful sparkling, um, I want to show you the Pokemon following you around. And I'm also going to take the time to take a little picture because I can do that. So this is so this is, this is migrating your Pokemon from your third gen game. Keep in mind that you can never put them back again. So now that, now that those third gen sparkles are gone forever, um, I can enjoy those fourth gen sparkles. And once I bring them from fourth gen, I'm going to show them in fifth gen. And then I will show them in sixth gen to you. And I am doing a, a kind of trainer tips video for each of these stages because I do find that a lot of people um, don't actually know. So there we have our beautiful James, the Mighty Moltres. I just can't get over how pink it is. Like it's just so beautiful. I am I'm so glad that I took the time and did this. Um, it was it was a really fun experience. I am a little annoyed that I I failed not only a Bulbasaur but I failed Articuno. Um, and I chose to transfer them all into Leaf Green because that's where I got the Bulbasaur and the Mewtwo. So I thought, even though all technically four birds, because I did fail one Articuno, showed up on a different file. Yeah, there's Articuno. This blizzard was the one that was meant to be. Not the previous one, I screwed up. But uh, I will definitely I will definitely um, keep these games for hunting, and every once in a while you will see me hunt on them. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do Ruby Sapphire, uh, Ruby Sapphire hunts. Uh, it's just... I really like my Omega Ruby and my Alpha Sapphire, and I, I just I just have so many games on the go all the time, so I think I'll just keep it as that. So I'm I'm trying to get this last Pokemon here, and once we have done that, uh, we'll just the, there's going to be a buzzer that will go off. Doo -doo -doo, and I'll leave the Pal Park zone. Uh, you get, as I said, you get a reward. This is the technically a mini game, uh, and if you say. If you say that you want to put the Pokemon back in the box, uh, they will allow you, like, it, it's over. You'll have to migrate again from, from the GBA game that you chose. But if you don't, um, if you say no, you can actually catch them over and over. Especially if you want to see these sparkles, like I did. So, there we go. You hear that ding dong, congratulations. I successfully caught all the stocked Pokemon. 
So he's going to kick us straight out. You can't wander around there when there's no stocked Pokemon. So congratulations, all six Pokemon have been caught, and the audience enjoyed watching the catching show. So there we go. The points are 460, 1530, 1000, 2990. That's a decent record. And my prize is a Pekka Berry. I mean, I'd say that's pretty good. I'm all right with Pekka Berry. So, would I like to put them all in the PC boxes? I'm pretty sure I would like to put them all in the PC boxes. So, now that they've been boxed away, I have to save my game. So, that is actually very important. They don't save it for you. If you were to turn off now, you would have, the, have to recatch those Pokemon again. So, that is... Uh, so, the next thing you are going to see is me wandering around with all of the Pokemon. So, I'm just going to do a little clip and and then uh, probably put some music over it and just let you guys watch them follow me around and see what they're see what everything looks like on this generation <laughs> <laughs> 